Hello there and welcome uh, to the Morello stand. Uh, my name is Andreas Heimann and I'm the international sales manager of a company called Morello Reisemobile. Yeah, and uh, I have the pleasure to show you our top product and top new uh, product uh, on this year's Caravan Show 2020 in Düsseldorf. So behind me, would you believe it, there is uh, this truck built on a Mercedes-Benz Actros 1853 chassis. And Mercedes-Benz 1853 chassis, what is this? See here to the, uh, to the left. 18 means that this is a, a truck that has 18 tons maximum, uh, maximum weight. And it has 53 plus a zero, 530 horsepower. So really powerful, a 12.7 liter engine uh, that delivers 2,600 newton meter of torque. So this is what I call a real chassis. Looking at tires of such a, uh, such a chassis, it's nice aluminum rims, but would you believe it, the tires, the width of the tires, they are nearly endless. Um, no, they stop at a certain moment, um, but it's nearly 40 centimeter wide tire and two of them on the rear axle uh, at each side. So uh, what we managed to do is a 2 meter 55 wide up to 12 meter long and 3 meter 85 high luxurious motorhome called the Grand Empire. Yeah. Very stylish, uh, the outside line with a rear, with a real glass covering in black glass and real glass double windows, giving a far better thermal and acoustic ins uh, insulation than standard polycarbon uh, cladding or polycarbon side windows. Remarkable, and you see it from the first glance of this, where the hell are the wing mirrors? They have gone. It's a so-called mirror cam system made by Mercedes-Benz, which we adopted uh, to that vehicle. As soon as we get into the motorhome, uh, we have to first uh, pass to a security door. This security door is secured by an own personal code which opens and closes the door together with a real safety glass and incorporated steel hinges. This is what we call a real safety door. The electrical standard of such a vehicle is particular because the, uh, the system does not have gas at all to run the whole complete motorhome. So you need a very high battery capacity. We would have four to six lithium batteries in it with 210 ampere hour uh, capacity is. We can walk around as we have lots of chargers charging the batteries while driving. So now we listen to a safety campaign. Yeah. You see us wearing uh, a mask. You see us wearing gloves. We measure temperature uh, before we go into the seating area. And we disinfect our hands regularly. This means we keep the highest possible safety standard uh, for such a show uh, to give evidence that nothing will happen, that we, we can do a show even in COVID times. Mm -hmm. These chargers, they charge the batteries uh, while driving. You see here monitoring elements uh, for eight um, 
130 watt solar panels so nearly 1000 watt solar panels on the roof together with a generator a diesel generator you could also charge these batteries while you're not hooked on 220 volt yeah following the car you come to our nice car garage so a mini uh, in this case a mini cooper finds place hooked on a winch and winched into it so it is very nice to have a four seater with you on board you leave that vehicle in a safe place your grand empire and then just go visiting the little mountain village in Tuscany yeah with your sports car when the vehicle is winched into the uh, into the motorhome then you would close the lid electrically and with a very nice structure and very powerful um, system to close and open the door. Let's go inside and have a look what we can find there. So when we go in we might as well take off our shoes. In this case we just leave them on. <laughs> So, welcome in. And this is what we call space. Wow, we know it's 2 meter 55 wide this motorhome, but this seems to be much wider. You're right, it is. Uh, why is this wider? We have half a meter of slide out mounted to this, uh, to this vehicle. This means that the club seats and the kitchen moves out half a meter. So we have really space here, space enough to put very elegant uh, seats here, which do even have uh, a massage function. It means that the headrests and the, uh, and the part uh, for the feet can be put out and I can go on pulse, wave or five different massage programs uh, that I could use to feel really comfortable at home here. Being here, relaxing here is so comfortable that the only thing I would maybe need occasionally is a 40 inch television uh, which we have mounted uh, to, other, uh, to the other side of the lounge. To operate this uh, television uh, we just put it in or out from this nice overhead locker and the rest of space available we just put glasses champagne and wine glasses which are individually fixed so that they are make no noise while traveling So also for the dashboard, it is an individual dashboard like in, in, in all of the Morellos and we found nice leather coverings uh, to, uh, to the side, yeah, to this uh, beautiful Actros cockpit. It is very centered and orientated uh, to the driver, yeah, so uh, with the leather steering wheel intelligent as as it is yeah i can really uh, go into the monitoring of the the vehicle so here we would have a, a navigation system which is second to none a very nice screen telephone bluetooth of course and a stereo system with eight loudspeakers 
Now we've been talking about the mirror cams from outside. Inside, it would be these two monitors giving me the picture from the right or from the left uh, uh, to the rear, completed by a bird view system, which gives me the picture to the front and to the sides and another one to the rear. So, completed by this, there are many driving safety features in this van, like a distance control, like a, like a cruise control, uh, which is adaptive, like um, a cornering assistant, like a, um, like a tiredness uh, assistant, like a spur holding assistant. Honestly, you have to learn it for minimum an hour to know uh, how this uh, vehicle assists you uh, while driving. The seat, very nice. You see it is, uh, uh, it's leather, upholstered, ventilated and heated if you want to, with a lumbar support and of course uh, also bracelets that uh, make you really feel comfortable while driving. Or if you'd lean over like this for eating or discussing with your business partner. Uh, now, of course, sometimes you have to prolong the table. If you can do that with gloves, yes, you can. Uh, to, to make it adapt to the size of the saloon. Um, rooftop very nicely with artificial leather, leather co uh, covered uh, canopies, of course the latest uh, air conditioning uh, uh, available. And then you come to a place which is very important of course, the kitchen. The kitchen in mineral material very nice that it, it gets bigger the more you slide the vehicle out. You get a lot of surface uh, for, for preparing. You've got sinks, two sinks. Yeah. And these sinks have household drains, just like they have a, a household tap here, like you use it at home. Uh, here, an induction cooker is working uh, electrically, so is a pull-out dishwasher. This is not just a small gimmick in a motorhome, this is a real dishwasher. Turning to the other side, tremendous space for storage. even for hanging up your clothes when you enter. And the fridge that you can call a fridge. It's a 200 liter household electrical fridge. So you have the same comfort here like at home. Sometimes uh, we need to heat up something, so a microwave, a real one, uh, is handy. So it is an oven and a grill. Also wardrobes are important to us of course. Yeah. So the wardrobes by Morello are really lighted up from the top to the to the bottom so that I can always see my belongings uh, from from above to down. The bathroom we're, we're coming to can be separated by both sides even even mirror from the rest of the rooms to make really a private compartment. 
So uh, we get into the to the shower uh, with a real glass doors, which are more easy to clean, and with a certain size, so that also big blokes can can shower freely without having to bend forward. Um, Rainhead shower head is uh, really really nice to have, together with a porcelain toilet, uh, which has a black water tank of 300 liter, by the way. Uh, and 560 liter would be fresh. Um, so um, it has is a macerator toilet uh, with this big tank. It can also be cleaned uh, by by a, by a flexible uh, shower. Um, beautiful uh, stainless steel uh, radiators, towel radiators are available, and a big, huge, I would nearly say. Um, a washing basin yeah um, wherever you see this is household quality yeah? can also be extracted to wash hair little economy on the water consumption <laughs> opening like this uh, is important to the ladies so that they can control the hair uh, but very important is of course also to store all the toilet articles in here or in here Throw them away. Or in here. Three times. So at the end of our, our story, coming along this one level flat uh, floor, we are uh, going up here comfortably to the bedroom. So the bedroom is something, yeah. So a big central a central bed, two meter by one sixty, uh, with two individual thick mattresses covered with a water gel topping to give a little bit this water bed feeling without being a water bed. <laughs> uh, the individual suspension underneath adapts uh, to your body's movement while sleeping, so that you always have a nice support uh, from from the mattress and the suspension and a real nice relaxing sleep. The wardrobes in the rear are very deep and you might have asked yourself hmm, why have they put the bed so much in height could they not be one level down? We could if there would not be the Mini Cooper underneath which I have shown you. So but it is a nice compromise between height of bed and car in the garage. So whatever you have to do now is to travel to a nice place. When you're tired, move over to here and have a relaxing, comfortable night's sleep. Goodbye for today and always travel in a safe way.
I hope you found that of interest. Thanks very much for watching. I'm glad you got this far with me. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Uh, give it a like. I've got this idea that the more likes I get, the, the easier it is to actually uh, for other people to see the videos, which means I can actually do more. And if you get any benefit from what I do, please consider supporting me on Patreon.